I'm Leo Ward for Kit Guru, and I've received a new Z490 motherboard from EKWB, the cooling company in Slovenia, that EKWB. I'll be doing a quick unboxing and preview in a few minutes of that board, but first let me discuss EKWB's recent virtual expo. You will be aware that Computex hasn't happened yet. It should have happened last week. It's meant to be happening in a few months time. Fingers crossed, because frankly, who knows? Uh, so we, we have already seen a kind of virtual Computex thing. Hello, and welcome to Virtual Computex. I'm delivering this message from my home, and like many of you had been planning to be in Taipei for this year's event. You should see this moment as an opportunity to shift our focus as an industry from benchmarks to the benefits and impacts of the technology that we create. And then last week, EKWB made a much better job of things. They ran events Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and they were starting uh, 7 p.m., I think it was, uh, Eastern European time, which is 6 p.m. in the UK. Those boys put in the hours. The event was kicked off by Eddie Koenig, the EK of EKWB, who talked about the company. Uh, they talked about various things they're doing. So the classic cooling systems, they're doing pre-built computers. And then they talked about specific families of products. Uh, they had various other members of the EK team along to talk about things, including some chaps we met at Computex a number of times, specifically uh, Attila Goba and Joe Roby. And that was all jolly good. Attila and Joe were discussing torque fittings. At the moment, we have these full-size torque fittings that were launched a couple of months ago, 23 mil external diameter. And we have coming soon torque micro, which are a mere 16.5 mil in diameter. Joe was discussing torque and said it's a Marmite thing in the sense of some people love them, some people hate them. We'll have duplicates of a few products. So we'll have a talk and an alternative, which will be a talk micro. Now, the real purpose with this is to help out in builds where you have really tight spots. So micro will be concentrating around the 16 and a half millimeter external diameter. Whereas, as you know now from our chunky talks, they're, they're 23, really substantial and uh, it's a bit of a marmite, so some people are, are really a fan of the new talks and will definitely keep the precision and the, the machine nature across the new, all the new parts. Um, but talks are really focusing on reducing size as much as possible. So I typed into the chat box, hey Joe, do they have marmite in Slovenia? And the master of ceremonies read out my question to the two and it just clanged. There is one question from uh, Leo Waldock uh, for Joe, for you. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Leo. <laughs> Do we have Marmite in Slovenia? Sorry about that, guys. It was meant in the best of spirits. I actually had a video call with Joe and Attila uh, separately, uh, which didn't go quite to plan because the camera at their end was truly terrible. So I was all set up here with a streaming PC so I could uh, capture the video call and then the stuff they're showing other end I could barely see. So I was paying particular interest on the Saturday evening when they were talking about the upcoming products because I'd heard about them and I'd kind of seen them through a haze of pixels. The products they got coming that really caught my eye, a vertical GPU bracket, uh, looks utterly rigid and it's intended to mount on, grab this MSI motherboard, the uh, ATX screws on the bottom of the board to give it extra rigidity. I was asking for details about the GPU bracket and they were saying there'll be one version which goes in a case the way you can clear out all the uh, expansion brackets at the back to leave an open space and that will go to the rear of the case. But if you have the type of case where the, you have the sort of cross struts, um, unless you want to dremel them out, there'll be another version where the graphics card is moved in from the rear of the case. I thought that was very nifty. Seems it's going to be PCI Express Gen 3 rather than Gen 4, but clearly they have to do an update to Gen 4 in the fullness of time because Gen 4 is going to be the thing. Pricing, they said it will be under 100 pounds, euros, dollars. So that seems highly interesting. They were also talking about 
140 mil versions of the more extreme fans. This is an EK Furious Meltimi 120. Uh, it was quite surprising how certain questions came up again and again. 140 mil versions of Super Duper fans, that came up a lot. It also became apparent in the Q&As various that Attila is an RGB heathen. Joe Roby is open on that subject, which is good to hear. I haven't yet reviewed the Loop Connect. It's had mixed reports so far. Keen to dig into that. It's a fan and RGB controller. Joe was also talking about potentially having RGB hubs uh, attached to radiators and also PWM, so you don't have to have tr uh, cables trailing all the way down. That sounds uh, promising. One of the other questions that came up was the idea of having fans in units. So instead of having 3 by 120 or 2 by 140 whatever, you have a, a, a frame which has the fans in, which will make cable management much easier, should mean you require fewer screws as well. So relatively speaking, detail changes there, but uh, EK seemed very receptive. EK also announced a whole load of extenders. These are fiddly little things, but they have male, female, 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 male, male, different lengths, different angles, all sorts of good stuff. These are the pieces that allow you to finish off a loop when you're trying to connect that to that and you need to do that uh, and it can get really bitty. Uh, once you've done all the big bits, sometimes the finishing touches, the bits absolutely kill you. It looks like EK has a load of good stuff coming along. What's with the motherboard? Well, MSI MPG Z490 Carbon EKX. Here I happen to have an MPG Z490 Carbon regular motherboard. So that is what the motherboard looks like. From EK you get the same board, minus the VRM coolers, you get a monoblock, a leak tester, oh, and a load of accessories. The regular board is priced in the UK at £260. The EK version is priced at 400 odd dollars, so going to be around the 390 pounds. However, an EK monoblock will typically cost you about 140 pounds. So you don't have to remove the cooler, well that's no great hardship anyway, and you're basically getting that for your money. Therefore you're getting the leak tester, which is about 30 pounds in the UK, and happily I already have one. There we go, lovely tool used for pressurizing your loop when you've built it to check you don't have any leaks. The accessories, we've got the EK installation kit and we've got all the bits and pieces you usually get from MSI cables and such like, so you're not missing out on anything. And there we have the thermal pads. The idea is you install your processor and then you install the monoblock like so for a full, oh look, they've even got a carbon look going on. And then you can plumb it into your loop. So in addition to cooling your CPU, you're also cooling the VRMs. Looks very neat, perfect match, exactly what you'd expect to see. And the thing is, because EK has that relationship with MSI and this is a packaged product, you're covered with a warranty. What's not to like? During my call with the EK people, I asked them which processor they expected customers of this motherboard to use. And they said, oh, the 10 core Core i9-10900K, straight for the big guns. So fair enough, that's what I'll use when I test this uh, motherboard. And of course, I'm in a position where I can do a back-to-back -back against the stock air-cooled board to see whether liquid-cooled VRMs help. In this instance, I'm actually confident they will. The VRMs look perfectly competent without being absolutely stellar. This is, after all, relatively speaking, a budget motherboard. As I said, £260 for the air-cooled version. Uh, a medium to high-end board in Z490 is like £400. They're expensive. The MSI Meg Z490 Ace, £390. So this is, relatively speaking, discounted. If liquid cooling on the CPU and the VRMs can help temperatures, well, what's not to like? And it should give more performance too. Obviously, I'll be testing overclocking. So the relationship between EK and MSI looks like it's going great guns. The idea of a motherboard from EK 
<laughs> you've got to love it. Uh, and we fully expect to see more liquid cool products such as graphics cards coming in the near future. All good to see. The Expo chaps, very good. I apologize for the question about Marmite. That was uncalled for. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the bell button, subscribe. Head over to kitguru.net to read our news and reviews. I'm Leo Wood for Kit Guru. This is a motherboard from EK.